Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial on Native Instruments Massive plugin. I'll be doing a series of tutorials on the Massive plugin and um, basically my main goal is to just show you how it works and how to create your own sounds. Um, this first tutorial I'm going to do is just going to cover a few of the basics and show you how to get a wobble bass and then in the future we'll go into a lot more detail. So let's get started. If we look over here to the left, we have oscillator 1, 2, and 3, and these are going to be what shapes our sound. Um, this is just default what comes up when you load Massive. Um, let's take a look at what that sounds like. So basically right now it's just um, it's one oscillator and it's just a saw wave, so we're going to make a few changes here. Let's go ahead. Um, you basically have a lot of options in here. Um, you can pick any one of them, but for right now, let's go with sine square. Go ahead and click that. And basically, um, if you turn the wavetable position to the right, you're going to have a square, and to the left, you're going to have a sine. So for a sine wave, let's go ahead and turn this to the left, and here it'll change there. Okay. Now, another thing to notice is over here, there's a pitch control, and we can actually drop this down a whole octave here. So a much deeper, lower sound. Um, let's go ahead and just copy that with oscillator 2 and do the same thing. Okay. The next thing I'd like to show you are the filters. Um, over here we have filter 1 and filter 2 and those are controlled by this mix channel that goes from filter 2 to filter 1. So right now it's turned all the way up for filter 1 and we're going to pick the filter. There are a lot of options here which we'll get into later. Um, right now let's just use a low pass filter which, and let's use low pass 4. Go ahead and turn this up about halfway and the resonance control just turn that all the way down. Now another thing to talk about here are these all these options. You have four envelopes and these four right here. Right now they're all set to LFO which stands for low frequency oscillator. Go ahead and pick LFO 5 and we're going to um, drag this from right here to the cutoff of low pass 4 on the filter. Now you can do this with anything down here. You can drag it anywhere and massive and that's something that really makes it powerful and gives a lot of diverse sounds. Um, so let's go ahead and just look at low pass 4 here. We can take this and if you just click and drag we can actually drag that up and this is what gives you your wobble basically if you don't already know. Um, the LFO is what's going to basically wobble this cutoff back and forth. Um, right now it's just set to a rate, so let's hear what that sounds like. Not that noticeable, so let's go ahead and hit sync here, and you're going to be able to get a ratio. We're going to do 1 8th. Let's hear that. Okay, much more what we're going for. Um, last change I have on this, if we just go to oscillator 3, let's go ahead and turn that on. And let's pick go over here to digital hybrid and do mellomantic. I would pull this right about here maybe. Let's hear what that sounds like. So a bit of a different sound, nothing impressive, but it gets you started um, getting your own sounds. You can actually change the wave table position to get a little bit of a different sound. <laughs> So that should give you an idea of how to get started. In the future we'll talk a lot more about the other features of Massive and how to um, customize your sounds more. Um, hopefully this helps some of you get started. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.